I'm here with the aspirant at Arm TechCon, and uh, who are you? Hi, I'm Anatoly Levine. I'm a product manager for uh, Aspirant Communications for, uh, uh, for one of the business units called uh, Connectivity Technology and Management. So, so what does Aspirant do? Aspirant provides uh, test uh, test equipment, uh, and Aspirant also provides enabling solutions for developers uh, of uh, IoT applications and uh, devices, gateways, etc. So there's uh, all the stuff that you're doing stuff in here. Yes, yes. So the stuff in the middle, stuff which you can see right here. So yeah. these are these are the core four of our demos, so yes, I hope you see that cursor. Right. And this is, uh, this, we call it IoT device framework that allows uh, developers, that can be used by the developers in order to build uh, their applications, their devices. Uh, yes. Here in this demo, as you can see, we simulate parking garage. Yep. And uh, we can, uh, so what we do is, uh, in a, we, we have four sensors inside, uh, which are Raspberry Pis and uh, one Raspberry Pi is used for the gateway. And uh, so they all talk to, together, and then we use multiple uh, IoT protocols. Uh, connect, so we, we use Dweet to talk from the sensor to the, to the gateway, and then we, uh, we also talk to uh, Amazon Cloud using MQTT, and we talk to Lightweight M2M server uh, using uh, Lightweight M2M protocol. And uh, all of it also done over LTE, one another part of the product is a functionality called global SIM, which is also called eSIM or programmable SIM. This is a SIM uh, card technology uh, which can be dynamically changed. Uh, you, we can move between different service providers. Uh, is this something this that uh, is a standard or something yes. you implement? This is, e new, is, new this standard. is standard, but it's, it's a new standard, yes. It's been uh, ratified by GSMA in uh, March. And so this is a new standard which is now becoming popular. Which is going to be especially useful for IoT. Yes, especially useful for IoT because it enables global deployment. So you can uh, uh, build your product and uh, you can deploy it with any service provider anywhere without the need to change your SIM card. So what will happen with all these cars? So what happens with all these cars, now this is our parking garage and we can uh, control. Uh, now for instance, we have the one parking spot is available, we can see it. Yep. We can park our car and it will take a few seconds. So now the car is parked and now you can see it on the screen. And now we see also the message appear, garage is full. So this is uh, the sensor communicated to uh, the gateway and gateway updated both servers uh, remotely. If we will move this car out, you will see that the car will disappear and uh, the garage full also will disappear. We can also use functionality, this, this here we, we can manage the parking and uh, what we can do, for instance, we can uh, block. So now this parking spot is blocked and the garage again is full so now if we will decide to nevertheless park in there we're gonna receive the violation signal right. so this is again this is all done over different protocols but under the same abstraction layer and uh, we, we also use uh, another part we have arm embed client talking to arm embed uh, server and this is used just for the management of the card so you work together with the ARM Embed over here. Yes. Uh, what's the advantage of working with ARM Embed? It provides universal platform. It's a very useful functionality which uh, enables developers to uh, manage all the different uh, type of solutions, uh, especially so you, you use the same cloud in order to uh, support different uh, types of hardware, different types of installations, etc. So it's very convenient for developers. Is this uh, shipping? Is it ready for shipping? Uh, the software framework in a beta, and it's uh, it's available for uh, for the trials as beta.